So the title, mm -hmm. this is a little bit short. The title of my talk today is Introducing Six Amplifier, a key player uh, in inflammatory disease. In the first part of my talk, I'd like to talk my very old story of molecular cloning of interleukin 6. Then I'd like to talk the immunological mechanism, how the highest related autoimmune disease or autoimmune arthritis is developed, with a particular emphasis on the role of interleukin 6 amplifier. So when I graduated, Osaka University Medical School in 1970. <coughs> I wish to study immunology and apply the Milton Fellowship at National Institute of Health, the USA, and participate in the laboratory of immunology being supervised by Dr. Albert Norden at the Gerontology Research Center, National <coughs> Institute of Aging in uh, Baltimore, Baltimore in 1973. Then at that time, I first met in both <coughs> Dr. Kishimoto and uh, also the Dr. Takatsu, both of whom were uh, that time member of the Dr. Kimishige Shizakazu laboratory at John Hopkins University. And since then, I have learned a lot from both of them. In particular, my encounter with Dr. Kishimoto has very much influenced my life, totally changed my life <laughs> as an immunologist. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's great. Okay, but at that time, I never know my future. So I of course even know a lot of side time and also the already told, told by uh, Professor Binarela, Professor Kishimoto, and also the Professor Feldman and the Professor Mayan will talk. Uh, several inhibitors for side time uh, now known to be very beneficial living patients. Then the back to 1970, that time we had already known that immune cells such as T cells, B cells, and macrophages interact with each other. Then the, the, such kind of interaction very important. Then the an, a concentration of antigen, immune cells produce several cellular factors. For example, in response to the antigen stimulation, B cell differentiates into antibody forming plasma cells and that's the absolute help of T cells. So, in 1971 and 1972, Michel Dutton and both Schimpel and Decker respectively reported the presence of soluble factors, which could replace the helper function T inside. And thereby, they called it T cell replacing factor. However, molecular nature of these factors were not known at all. So, Many knowledge call his or her molecule on the basis of the activity he or she examined. So there are a lot of names of cytokines corresponding to the number of the immunologists, such as that we are the so on. Uh, then uh, after the three years research on the regulation of cytokines, Tissue differentiation and soil factor involved in the process at Dr. Norden's lab of MIH. I began to Osaka University Medical School in 1976. Then I moved to uh, Osaka Prefectural Hospital in 1978. There, I saw many patients with pulmonary tuberculosis. Then, what I found that part is Pluralal epithelial cells obtained from a patient with tuberculosis. For instance, purified, purified protein delivered to PPD produce a very active factor which act on B cell and the induced immunogen production. Because a large number of lymphocytes were obtained from one patient. Also, this activity was very strong. That time, I saw it might be possible for me to, to purify this molecule. Actually, I found that the fraction corresponding to the molecular weight of 20 kg and also the isoelectric point of 5 contain this active factor 
acting more visible to induce immunoling production. This vertical activity and also the physical chemical properties are completely the same without of interleukin 6. So therefore, for me, interleukin 6 is a gift from the patient with the diagnosis. <laughs> then I just mounted. And then I moved to Kumamoto University Medical School as an associate professor in 1980 and continued the purification and characterization <coughs> of this factor. However, as Charles Dinaldo said, that time it was very difficult. Anyway, climbing and climbing very steep mountain, <laughs> mountain pass out there. Then uh, I moved to Osaka University as an associate professor at Professor Kishimoto's lab. He kindly invited me to his lab in 1984. Then uh, I finally succeeded on purification and determined this internal 14 amino acid sequence at the end of 1984. Then uh, I had a very prospective view for the next 1985 year. And I very much enjoyed the New Year holidays with a great degree. However, reality was not so, not so <laughs> very hard. Turned out to be very hard. Uh, several trials to grow the seed and this active molecule.